The next thing that we want to improve upon is when a user is logged in. Let's log in and let me show you something inside the local storage. All right, so let's open the local storage and here we go. On the user, which is the user info, you can see that we have all the user details inside the local storage. And I don't want that. You can see we have the orders here as well, the password, the shipping address, and others. I don't want that. I want to save is admin and then the token, and that is all what I need, right? So we need to modify the backend endpoint. So let's locate the user, which is the controller and users. And let's find the login, which is this. As you can see here that we are sending the entire user, but I want to send some specific data about the user. So here we can use what is called select on the query. And I want to send the data I need about the user. And that is the full name and then is admin. But the caveat here is that this function for bcrit password, it needs the user password, the one that we are sending inside the console log as we see here. So we are going to use the select method, but instead the response over here, we are going to send as an object. And let me add comma here. And I want to send the full name and can be found on the user found dot full name and is admin and it is user found dot is admin and i think yeah i want this ones only so let's see let me look out and let me look in back as well let me refresh it yeah, and sign in. And let's check the user info. And this time around, we have these ones. And even I can remove the user info completely because we are making a request to fetch the user. Yeah, so we can even remove this one entirely. And just send the token to the client. So now let's log out. So let's sign in and let's have a look. And now we have the token only. The next step is that I want to refresh the page when a user logs out.